Okay, down here, there's my little video camera. Or actually, it's the phones. I love my rubber bands in the cassette case. I'm gonna try to unclog this Cuisinart coffee maker. Down here, where well, you can't see, where the water goes. I've already took the lid off. Got my air compressor running. I'm gonna try to blow it out. This is what it looks like. It's Cuisinart 650 BC. I've had it about three years. First, the uh, of course, the grinding stuff's gone, but this little button here wasn't getting pushed. And uh, I put a screw in the, there's a plastic deal that goes down to push that button. I put a screw in that. Of course, I, I couldn't find just the right size. It broke. Oh, I got to get the uh, water filter out. Anyway, it broke the, uh, broke the, uh, the plastic it had a hole it was it had a hole down the center of it but it was a little too big and i didn't think about heating it up should have heated the screw up so anyway i used some super glue and able to make it work and then it was working fine and then uh, i'm gonna turn it over the screws are all those torque screws yeah i can see what they're talking about you can't see it i'm sure but i don't know if i have anything that'll fit that I'm not going to take it apart unless I have to. That's where the heating element is. And, uh, but uh, it's a lot of people just, they said they took it in the shower and blew, blew their, uh, washed theirs out. They say that uh, when this basket gets overrun, the basket goes right there. And it, if it gets overrun, it will go back up. I don't know how it would really go back up into the water. Okay, here's where the water comes out. If you can ever see that, it's, it's a kind of a cloudy day. I'm outside, but it's kind of a cloudy day. So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that open. But uh, there's, you know, they were saying they could get in the shower with their coffee maker. I'd like to see that video. And uh, and blow through here. I mean, and and uh, wash through here and get it out. Oh, there's, there's one of the hoses they're talking about. I don't think you can see that either. But there's a rubber hose where it's coming out from the bottom of the coffee maker and going down to the heat heat plate. So what I'm going to do is take this noisy old air compressor and I'm going to try and blow it out. I think I'll lay it over. Let's see which way. I want it to be pointing towards my. I want it to be pointing towards my. Uh, camera my still camera because this is the one that's probably make anything that anybody could stand to look at okay i'll shut this again I, I, it's really hard to do this all at the same time okay so i'm gonna lay it on its side so it don't fall off my little slanted this is a little a little bitty short step ladder that i put a wide top on so um what i'm gonna do yeah, see, it's making a mess. What I'm going to do is uh, I have that on there because I, those two befores on there, they're taking up too much space. I had them on there to uh, hold. I was using this in a sawhorse I have over there to uh, hold up a, a door for a work table out here last year. Never did take it off. So, let's see. I'm gonna, I've done this lots of times over the years. You wrap a rag around your air blower and then plug up a hole and you can blow things out. So that's the, it was a nice cup towel and then now it's dirty. So uh, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop this video and, st uh, and let that other one take over.